Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. It's time for Victoria 2, Balkans multiplayer. I don't know, what are we naming this series? Remove Kebab? No idea. <laughs> we'll come up with something. There's already a, a Remove Kebab up So there. in the last there. episode, Kelvin's plan didn't work at all. <laughs> yeah, Russia's a big coward. Boo. And your plan B is to try again until it works. Nash, I have a secret plan. It involves Prussia. Mm -hmm. yes. Invite them to your plot, that CK2 reference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. That's what I'm doing. Anyway, so, where we last left off, uh, we were also getting uh, a bit of money for factory soon, which should be exciting. Yep. And right, we're going to pause. Uh, so, we were just talking about factories actually off camera. Wow, I already finished that research pretty much. Yep, yeah, it's done. Yeah, because you had a bunch of points stored up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At this point, store so... up points. Um, I still got yeah. I still got 100 stored. That's fine. Right now we want to store up points because we will unlock the idealism tech in 1840. Right. Under philosophy culture. Yeah. Plus 50 percent research points. Yep, yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason you save up for that tech column. Yeah. Like any research bonus is always good in any strategy game ever. <laughs> yeah. Pretty and much. You, it's true. Can yeah, you though. stop a research? Um. Yes but you lose your points in it, so it's generally a bad idea. Okay. If you've already started on something, just see it through, it's fine. Yeah. It's well, not where's the, the button? World. I don't even see it. Yeah. <laughs> that whole tree is basically research bonuses. Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> That's why every time you see one of those activation years coming yeah. up... You, you research just... that. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, since we're in 39, 40's coming up. So hey, we need to stockpile some points for that. Mm-hmm. Simple, uh, simple math, I guess. But does it actually help as much, though, for us? Like, the philosophy stuff? The research points? Yes, it helps small? hugely. Okay. Yeah. But for bigger nations, it helps a lot more. Not really. Well, I guess that's true. But only only to a degree. It really only helps extra if you're a great power. And uh, that... As Britain, I'm guessing you can get, like, a lot of <laughs> nice decks going. <laughs> yeah, it actually helps more if you're, like, Prussia. The Germans, for whatever reason, oh, yeah. start with, like, 70% literacy. Oh, wow. As I say. Oh, yeah. Max. Oh. 11.1% literacy. Yeah, it's going up. So, I'm about to hit 200 relations with Russia. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, you can't necessarily um, influence how the dice fall. Mm -hmm. It might take them a little while, but if you... Let's click on you. Have a look at you. Hmm. Well, currently, you're in the sphere of Great Britain, and uh, both France and Russia are friendly to you. Unfortunately, they aren't inf investing any influence in you right now, so it might take a while before you get ripped out of the sphere of Br Great Britain, if you do at all. Yeah. Who knows? Uh, right now, I think Russia might be focusing on me, maybe, if I'm lucky. Uh, but I can yeah. still improve my relations with great powers, because sitting at 9 Diplo points is a little bit useless. Yeah, it's wasteful. Uh, and I don't see rule, much else you can spend them on. Yeah, as a general rule, at least right now. improve your relations with anyone who is not the Ottoman Empire. Mm -hmm, yeah. Like, Prussia. I recommend Prussia. Remember, the Prussian Space Marines. I know it's a meme, right. but it's right. <laughs> <laughs> Prussia is OP. So where do you see your allies? Because I can't see them. Well, if you just click on a country, it shows you allied with. Oh, okay. Um, Let's see. Yeah, it shows you're allied with the Ottomans right now. Oh, okay. I, I had the show great powers thing on and yeah. not the show wars. Yeah, that changes the data available, so you gotta, yeah. gotta watch that. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you'll be allied to the Ottomans in the long run. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm technically still protected by the Ottomans, and they can't declare war on me, which works pretty Okay, hold on. Uh, can you pause? I got some event. Oh, sure. Uh, all population in Greek Peloponnese becomes 10% more liberal. Gain 1 militancy, gain 1%, 1.0 militancy, 1.0 consciousness. That's good. Or, though. all pops in Peloponnese changed by minus 1% and gain 4 militancy. So 10% more liberal is not necessarily a bad thing, right? Not really. It means they'll want more reforms towards democracy. Uh, on the other hand, you can just go and shoot a bunch of people and they won't be liberal anymore. 
<laughs> yeah, those let's are your two options. Let them become more liberal, or mm, yeah, I let them become more liberal. Yeah, that's uh, those are your two options. So. I can pretend I like democracy. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. <laughs> the uh, last thirty-six months, the price of machine parts has steadily gone increased. up. The research goes way faster than I thought it will. I'm looking at the. The newspapers. <laughs> oh, yes. Newspapers. Oh, yeah, there are newspapers. <laughs> Pro tip, no one ever looks at the newspapers. Okay. Mm. Uh. <laughs> War between Spain and Morocco. Nobody cares. Crisis averted. Yeah, just read Not more about wanted. my shame, why don't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? We have fielded three out of zero possible brigades that our soldiers can support. Yep, sounds about right. Must be the military spending. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, forgot to build the liquor distillery. Yeah, I'm still too poor now. for that crap. Yeah, I'm still waiting to get more money. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Remember, the Russian this? prince actually, for whatever reason, by the way, is rich. Uh, so, <laughs> how exactly do you affect your efficient or uh, tax efficiency? Technologies, for the most part. If you mm -hmm. go into uh, the commerce tab at the top, there's just financial institutions. <laughs> Let's just right. look along that track. Tax efficiency is five percent for every tech. Yeah. There you go. So that's a good tech to get, no? Uh, yeah. If you need more money. Do you ever not need more money? <laughs> what is this? I don't need more money. Said no one ever. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Eh, what is this projected daily balance? Minus 8,000. Uh, that's but because you built wrong. a factory. Yeah, it's so that wrong. That just means it, it, it's, it is totally wrong, <laughs> and it's because you've prepaid all that in advance, and the game doesn't realize it. <laughs> like, you, you're, you just... The money was consumed into this weird pit, where it where, where it's not part of your balance, but for whatever reason, the projected daily <laughs> yeah. balance doesn't realize like that some it sort exists. Of yeah. Oh, it's... Oh, okay, it's construction. Uh, yeah, spend. it is. It's yeah. uh, it's for constructing the factory. Yeah. Like I said, it doesn't actually realize it. Oh, I don't. So have can enough. we actually talk a bit about the important tech lines in here? Because there are actually a lot. There are. There yeah. are twenty-five tech lines in total. Five times five. So if you can follow along. Like for example, any tech that says activate something, like activate lumber. What exactly does that do? Uh, that gets you a new factory. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, but it know, says both activate lumber mill, which I assume is just allowing you to build that, but what about activate lumber? Well, activate lumber is not really a point, and it's already been activated, mm -hmm. but if no one has researched that tech before, if you're the first one to get it, then you activate okay. that resource. In particular, right. if you go to industry and go to organic mm -hmm. chemistry, uh, there's one activate fuel. Right. Like for oil. And uh, later on, you'll see activate cars, activate telephones. Yep, I see it. Uh, such resources are not listed in our uh, trade tab because they mm -hmm. are not activated yet. Okay. Uh, It'd be is, funny if they were activated yeah, now. It kinda, kinda be, would be kind of <laughs> weird. Um, so since they aren't, uh, yeah, you know, that's basically all there is to it. Uh, and the little activate, you know, lumber mill is for activating the factory, allowing you to build it. And what about military techs? Because we didn't even consider getting any of them. Isn't it a bad idea to fall way behind in military tech? Well, here's the problem. At least for me. I'm a tiny You have to balance it somehow, surely. Yeah. Uh, it depends on your strategy. I plan to get Russia to fight most of my wars for me. <laughs> right. Um, you're probably gonna need a few military techs here and there, yeah? And try not to fall too far behind. But as a general rule, things like research points come first. Education efficiency comes second. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's fair to say. And then depending on whether or not you want to go more army or industry heavy is up to you. Uh, I'm going to go for the bit more industry heavy. So one more thing uh, on the technology screen. Yep. Possible inventions. What's that all about? When you research a technology, uh, basically a bunch of little possible inventions will appear from that. And those grant you additional bonuses beyond just the technology. So right, right now we're all researching idealism. Mm -hmm. uh, and then if you click on the idealism tech in the bottom right, there'll be three little gray light bulbs next to some names. Yep. And those are the uh, proverbial inventions. They'll get moved over into the left column once the technology is researched.
Okay. And then you'll have a percent chance every month of unlocking them, which grants you an additional bonus. In the case of idealism, it's just some prestige. Right. But if you go to some other ones, especially army techs, where you can get uh, additional attack and stuff for things. Yeah, that seems very luck based. Like, you have 2% additional chance to make your army stronger. Oh, you have no idea how luck based it is. Because gas mm -hmm. attack and gas defense. Okay, hold on. Can you pause for a moment again? Okay. Apparently, I can lose 10% population. Oh, it's the Aegon Islands. I don't really care about these guys. Nobody ever does. <laughs> Minus 10%. People die. Stuff happens. Jesus Who cares? <laughs> you are a terrible human being, Marbazir. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. Oh. Genocide is commonplace in this game. Mm -hmm. You have to have yep. no conscience to play this game. <laughs> it's pretty commonplace in real life, too, I'm just saying. It is, it is. Especially in this time period. Oh, yes. Is, is there a paradox game in which genocide doesn't happen? Hearts of Iron. Probably not. Hearts of Iron, actually. Which is the weirdest <laughs> one. What? <laughs> like, that's the wor worst part. Is The game is like, the entire war was over the genocide of the Jews. Yet mm -hmm. the game has absolutely no genocide at all. It just <laughs> sidesteps genocide of all kind. Oh, There's no false. cultures, no religions. Just soldiers. Okay, I just researched the idealism. Good work. Uh, so now, positivism or some industry stuff, I wonder. Like, mm. the next railroad or the next... I'm doing more tax. <laughs> yeah. More tax. I just tax the shit out of my people. <laughs> yeah, that's perfectly reasonable. I can't tell you what to do. Because then we'd all be researching the exact same thing. and I'd be I like more money, what can I say? Yeah. I like education. Yep. I'll go for that. Mm-hmm. That's that's perfectly fair. There's there's not really a wrong answer in this case. Uh, just remember, nobody cares about like, you know, certain texts. Right. So, like nobody guess... actually cares about aesthetics, which serves to do nothing but give you increased prestige. Doesn't but, actually do anything else. But you become a great power more easily though, like that, right? In the early it's game, the... yes. You'll find actually prestige is the least valuable of the scores that you can have. Mm -hmm. uh, industry and military are far more valuable. Like, in the late game, military scores I see skyrocket easily into the thousands because suddenly dreadnoughts are a thing. So, it's safe to, like, completely ignore aesthetics for the whole game? Pretty much, yeah. It's like, okay. the only thing I ignore more than it usually is naval techs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you but guys can just ignore that completely. Uh, yeah, I yeah. probably can, too. if you're Britain, you can't ignore that now. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. If you're Britain, you actually have to care. <laughs> So, pretty much every military tech increases supply consumption. Yep. That's which makes idiot. your army more expensive to maintain, I and assume. Correct, because you have to buy more guns, more right. clothes, and all that shit for them. How unreasonable. Yeah, exactly. But then again, I assume like, morale is still a king, like in EU4, or is it? Um, like, for example, the army leadership uh, line. You army are professional slightly is plus incorrect. It's morale. actually organization. Okay. Morale exists in this game, but it's entirely something else compared to uh, Okay, before. so, right. So what about morale and military tactics? Like, the whole army leadership tree. All right, I'll, I'll go over that, sure. Um, real quick. Mm -hmm. So, you have morale, military tactics, and organization. Organization... Hey, can you pause for a moment? I got a decision. Okay. I'll keep talking. All right. Um, so, our, you have three things. Organization, morale, and military tactics. Yep. Organization is the same thing that uh, morale is in EU4. It's just the hard thing that causes your people to retreat when they run out of it. Okay. Can you see like your current total somewhere? Yeah, on the military screen. Yep. Right? Got it. Um, mm, yeah, I don't see morale in here. Yeah, I don't think it's actually in there. Because yeah, okay, it's on a never unit mind, by then. unit basis. If you go to build army, I think, it mm -hmm. should show in there somewhere, but I can't build anything right now to see. It yeah, actually it's going though. Um, however, morale is your organizational regain rate. Oh, okay. And military tactics just affects how good your troops fight. Okay. So Simple for that. people who play EU4, organization is basically morale in this game, right? Yep. Organization is morale, and mm -hmm. morale is morale regain rate. From Except I saw some paradox texts that improved that, I think. Tips because yeah, the whole military science tree improves I mean, organization. If... 
if you select an army and then you look at the green bar, it shows morale. That it's yeah. like organization, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Yeah. It does. But if you go to military and you hover over that same green bar, it shows that it's morale. <laughs> so what is it then? Oh, Paradox? it does actually. See? Yeah. It actually we... does. Morale one hundred percent. I assume does it just a fuck up? Yeah, it's just yeah. a fuck up. <laughs> Should be. <laughs> Get used to it. <laughs> Nobody Not claims this game is perfect. Nobody claimed this game was perfect. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah. That's, that's why it's better to listen to me than the tool tips. Yes. Uh, okay, apparently rebel factions are organizing in my country. Oh yeah, that'll happen. Mm -hmm. That'll happen. They're not Greek actually... Greek reactionaries. The Do I have to care about that? Um... I don't see... Maybe? I'm actually I got surprised like 6,000, but everything else is at zero. Like, literally everything is at zero, but there are 6,000 members yeah. of the faction. So, yeah, that's fine. Let's find out why there are rebels in your country. Mm. Go to the population tab and hit select all in the top right. Okay. And uh, make sure you select your country uh, on the tree on the left. And, yep, then and you sort by rebel faction. Sort by militancy, actually. Uh, okay, hold on. I don't see The militancy. little fire. I'm not seeing it. Size, oh, oh yeah, I see it, right, yeah, I see it. If you mouse over that, it will tell you why militancy is going up or going down. Mm-hmm. Monthly change, life needs not fulfilled, soldiers. every day needs not fulfilled. In short, soldiers, they're not getting, right? Yeah, they're soldiers. Yeah, it's all life needs not fulfilled. <laughs> that's because you're not paying needs. your soldiers. Mm -hmm. yep. So, that's all. Hey, I blame you, you said it's a good idea. To I tried it, hey, I, I wasn't wrong. <laughs> you almost have more enough money for a factory now, don't you? Uh, yep. Exactly. So I'll just raise military spending and that should fix it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. If you give their soldiers money, they won't... Repeat. Or I can just let them complain. Yeah, Because there's 0% revolt risk. Yeah, they, they, the, the odds of your soldiers actually organizing into something mm -hmm. that will be a threat to you is pretty unlikely. But if they do, you're actually kind of screwed. Yeah, because then your <laughs> army suddenly turns into rebels and then you don't have an yeah. army anymore. Ugh. I'm I'm not making money like from our liquid distillery. It's just like plus zero point zero five. That's probably because you don't have any craftsmen. Yeah, I have only yeah. 135. <laughs> okay, one more thing. What about administration efficiency, which is uh, the monetary system line? Yeah, Wait, my that? short answer is just pretend it doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to decide what to research next. If you click on a province, actually, well, I found one in my country conveniently right now. Uh, click on Boar. It's in my country. It's uh, my most Click right on province. what? Boar. B-O-R. It's a province in my country. Oh, you mean a... right. Yeah, yeah. And then you go, uh, then you go down Not to... Not All done. Hmm. My country. You're looking at Serbia, right? Yeah, I see southern Serbia. No. Southern Serbia is not in my country. Wait, what? Yeah, th this map is kind of hard to read when you're zoomed in. Yeah, I see it. I got it. All right, you found Boar. So, um, if you go and have a little look on the bottom left pane, there should be a yep. little thing that reads Spoil System. Can you see that? Not really. Which Where part? Of in, it? The, in the bottom left. It's just under what it produces, grain, and just above the pop province population. Cord supply limit, Fort Naval Base Railroad. I'm not seeing it. Province population. Province population. Up. Province life rating. And terrain plane. I'm not seeing it. Yes, yeah, so there is. Really? Okay, right can, can you guys see the grain icon? Yes. Yep. Right below Maybe that. It's cords. It's cords. Maybe it's just for you. I guess so. Yeah, I, oh fuck, Just I click on somebody else's, I can't because, see Because, like, it. when I click on my yeah, own yeah, 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 I'm I a see moron. something completely different than yeah, you. Yeah, that, that's fair. It, it's, it's something only shown to me. If you yeah. select through your own provinces, see if you can find something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I see, like, I see Mafia minus 5% factory output. Yeah, that's what administration efficiency actually affects. There'll be yeah. little, like, crime okay, sprees. Okay, so that's that what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay, so Machine what am I supposed politics. to look at? Yeah. Plus 500% strength of strongest party. What? <laughs> good news, okay. that doesn't matter because you don't have votes. Mm -hmm. as, a, as a good yeah. news, most of the crimes don't matter, 
because you don't have elections. Immoral business, minus 20% RGO output. So can you actually do anything about these modifiers or are they there like permanently? Uh, they they kind of come and go over time. Uh, it's, it's like an event basically, yeah? Basically, yeah. It's a mini little province event that we'll fuck okay. around with a bit. And uh, the higher your administration efficiency, the less often they occur. They're all yeah, I see spoil system now, plus 200% ruling party support. Yeah. But why are... Okay, this is weird. Hold on. I lost the previous one. Okay. Why are some are... Oh, no, it's a different one. I thought yep. one was red and the other one was green, but it was the same modifier. It's different. Yeah, uh, it might say green, but it's... Don't actually worry about it. The spoil mm, system plus... one I know shows green. Yeah, okay. But it's just strength of ruling party. So, mm -hmm. it doesn't actually matter. Um, all right. But yeah, they're all basically negative things. You generally don't want them. And, you know. Alright. All right. Well, all right. Sorry, Hold on. Can you machinations have just yeah. come to life because, again. Because uh, I'm capped on research points and I still didn't pick what I want to research. <laughs> oh. There are so many texts to choose from. Yep. That there are. They're just rushing functionalities. So, no. mining output, farming output, is that something I should care about? Uh, yes. Both of those things are related to you. Mm-hmm. Right, so that's that. Fucking politics are stacked to shit against me. I wish there was a way to make it automatically increase the release. This is gonna so. suck. So, it's not gonna work again, your crisis? Uh, it's going to work in about the worst way possible. By oh, the way, wow. Russia, Austria, UK. <laughs> by the way... Say. Wait, what? Uh, diplomacy? <laughs> the crisis <laughs> that exists is not good for me. Oh yeah, I see. Yes. Can you pause Goodbye. for a moment? Like, speed 4 is a little bit too much right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Oh dear. Okay, so crisis over the return of Serbia's rightful territories. Yeah. So wait. <laughs> wait. This isn't good. If so what you're... is this about? So Return to who? Me. If you'll notice on the Russian Empire side, there's a little fl Serbian flag. Right. Russia is, wants me to acquire southern Serbia. Mm -hmm. The Ottoman Empire wants to just acquire Georgia from Russia. Right. And uh, you can see who's on whose side. Mm -hmm. With France still being on the fence, they'll join Russia. Probably. Soon. Right. Uh, currently, Spain, it's Spain and Russia versus uh, the Ottoman Empire, Prussia, Austria, and the United Kingdom. AKA, this is still nice kind of war. confusing, honestly. <laughs> nice world war. <laughs> just, just wait. It'll make sense when it goes to war. Mm. Oh, because, okay. Because when it goes to war, the, the, there'll be two sides to the war. And then you'll start seeing it. They can be resolved diplomatically, but I have a feeling it. Ru okay, yeah, yeah. This. Wow. Oh. Resolved accepted. And on top of that, <laughs> Russia lost. Th does that mean they got Georgia? Yes. Go go it over does. and look at Georgia. Mm, from it's the Ottomans. Under control of the Ottomans. Yeah. <laughs> why? Why Russia? Well, that was why? interesting. Well, fuck. <laughs> and Kelvin gets screwed over again. Yeah, this ain't going well for me. Uh, like I said, the, the problem is, Russia didn't get any allies at the start mm -hmm. of the game. Yeah. There, there's always one great power who doesn't get allies at the start of the game. Because okay. there's the USA on the other side. There's a rule that is, a great power cannot have more than one great power ally. Mm -hmm. So, right. the USA won't ally any Europeans. And the other seven are all Europeans. So that means there's seven possible great power to ally. That's an odd number. So one will always be left out. All right. Unfortunately for me, it was fucking Russia. Yeah. So I'm pissed. <laughs> so that basically messed up your entire strategy. Yeah, that's why I've been basically bribing Prussia this whole time, trying to get them mm -hmm. to support me in crisis. I actually probably need to say fuck you to Russia and to start decreasing relations and try and make sure they never support me again. It, it sucks. All right, but I think we should make a cut at this point. So this will be the episode? end of second episode. Is this just going to be a theme where every episode one of my crises just goes horribly wrong? <laughs> Probably. God damn it. <laughs> oh. So thanks for watching, everyone.
I hope you weren't too confused. <laughs> I hate everything. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.